Hello and welcome to my ScreenFlow 7 for beginners video. So I did one for ScreenFlow 6. I'm going to try to condense this one a little more. There's some fun stuff in ScreenFlow 7. But if you're new to ScreenFlow, this video is for you. So basically, uh, you may be asking yourself, what is ScreenFlow? ScreenFlow is the ability to do what I'm doing right now uh, on a Mac. So ScreenFlow allows you to record your screen. As you can see here, I have an, an open document here. This is kind of what ScreenFlow looks like when you're working with a project. Uh, but if you're wanting to record from ScreenFlow, it pops up here in your toolbar. You click the icon, stop, start, record, pause, all that good stuff there. Uh, again, it's a very, very wonderful piece of software that I love using and I love being an evangelist for. So today we're going to be taking a deeper dive into ScreenFlow and kind of what you can do. So the first thing you need to look at is creating a new document. When you first download ScreenFlow to your computer, you're going to have the ability to uh, go to File, New, and then under New, you're going to have this option come available to you here. You're going to have the welcome screen, you're going to have the new recording, the new document, and obviously open recent documents. So under new recording, this will allow you to record a desktop. So this one here, I have two different monitors, LG ultra wide. This is the one I'm recording from now. Uh, you can record your iOS device if it's plugged in via USB. So you can do this with iOS uh, 10, uh, you know, later devices. So you can record your iPhone or iPad or iPod touch screen if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, then we also have record video from so you can record video from whatever so you can see right here, you can record video from your web cams. You can record audio from, like you can see this here, uh, audio from my audio interface or my webcam. Again, I like to record audio in a separate program. Uh, I record in Adobe Audition, but you can record your audio here directly from ScreenFlow. Now, once you're ready to start recording, you've got all your settings set up. You hit the big red record button right here, and you, my friends, are off to the races, and you are starting to record your screen, and you're on your way to creating your very first screencast video. So, I'm going to go ahead and make this a bigger again to fill the whole screen. Once you have created your very own screencast video, you're going to see these options come available to you where you're going to see basically the user interface of ScreenFlow and this is where all of the magic happens. So in order to add a file or a video or image or audio file to your document here in ScreenFlow, uh, you want to click the little addition symbol up here with the down arrow. Go to add file or add recording if it's a ScreenFlow recording. I normally just stick with add file. And then basically you can go here and select a specific file or video or image or audio file from your computer and then click open or double click it. You will see all of your media here. So all of your media when you add it. So if we go here and go to add file and let's just go here and add an image. So if we go to say right here and we're going to add this little image here and then we may want to add this image here. I double click those and that will add those images. Now all of the media that you add to your document or file will be over here on the media browser. Now you can play around with the media browser by clicking and holding, dragging it to make the icons larger or smaller. You can also go here to the zoom and zoom in or zoom out if that's the way you want to handle it. And then once you want to put something into your timeline, uh, one of the beautiful things things about ScreenFlow 7 is that you can actually click and hold here on the timeline of a video in the media browser and select where you want to insert that specific video. So I'm going to go ahead and click the video here. It will be highlighted yellow. Click and hold that, drag it down to your timeline, and this is where all of the fun stuff will happen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag up or down to adjust the size of my timeline. So if you're familiar with Adobe Premiere Pro or maybe you're familiar with Final Cut Pro or whatever you've used to edit videos, the timeline should be fairly familiar to you. Uh, but as you can see here, I can click and hold and make the timeline larger or smaller. And then as with the media browser, I can select the zoom in or zoom out feature here to make my files larger or smaller. Again, I like to zoom in pretty close to get more fine details of the actual video on the timeline. Uh, and then again, you can do the same thing here if you want to click and drag and move that up or down. So now that we have the actual video in the timeline, we can click and hold the playhead here and we can progress through our video. Now this video is more of a stagnant image, but I wanted to use it to demo out the features within ScreenFlow. So as you can see here, uh, I can click and hold, this is called the playhead, and this will take me to any uh, part of the video that I want to kind of fast travel to. And then if I want to play the video, I can click the play button here, I can click the pause button, I can fast forward, I can rewind, very simple to a normal video player. If you're looking at maybe your audio levels, if you click play 
play over here on the right hand side you're going to see something here it looks like two green lines that are kind of pulsating forward this is your master audio levels if this is peeking into the yellow or red you probably want to select your video clip or audio clip and decrease the audio of that specific track now these are called tracks now this is a track here if I go ahead and put an image into my timeline this will be another track so as you can see here uh, I can use my mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out of my actual canvas and as you can see here I'm going and I'm manipulating stuff on the screen like you would say in Photoshop or another video editor so I like to keep it around this size here and again if you ever want to move elements within the timeline it's as simple as clicking and holding they will be highlighted yellow and you can move these elements anywhere on the timeline now obviously it works like layers in Photoshop so what you're going to want to do is the ones on the top of the screen or the top layer here will come up above the layer below so if I drag this image below obviously I'm not going to see it because the video file is above the image but if it's above the video it will come up on top of the specific file again it works very similar to layers within Photoshop so that's basically the main UI of ScreenFlow next I want to take you and show you the different elements that you can adjust and tweak within the toolbar here so consider this like within Photoshop and Adobe uh, you have your tube toolbar uh, underneath here these are our different tools we have our video tool our audio tools our video video motion tools, screen recording, callouts, touch callouts, and annotations, text, and we also have our media browser. So under video here, you can do things like zoom in and zoom out. So if we go here and we want to add an action, that's what you do within ScreenFlow is you add specific actions. So if we click the plus or addition symbol here to add action, that's going to add an action. It's going to basically show me what I can do here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that there. But if I want to add an action, I click add action. Uh, but remember, you have to have whatever you want to add the action to selected. So I'm going to go ahead and add the action. You're going to see this little yellow kind of icon come up here if you drag this out it will make the zoom in longer if you drag this in it will make the zoom in shorter so what you're going to want to do now is adjust say the scale so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in like this here now whenever this video plays when it hits that boom it's going to zoom in just like that and just as I mentioned if I drag it out longer it will then make the zoom in a little more dramatic a little more slower uh, and again you can do this in any other video editing software this is just how you do it within the specific software screen flow now I'm gonna delete that select it it'll turn yellow click backspace or delete that will remove the specific call out you can add different call outs video filters and things like that but we're not gonna to dive too deep into that in this video next you're going to have audio uh, audio this is very very simple this here uh, whatever clip you have selected you can adjust the volume right here as you can see I'm taking the percentages down that will decrease the volume if I take the percentage above 100 that will increase obviously the volume uh, ducking basically that's if you have a background music track and you want something to be above the other you can duck a volume to make the levels lower that way you can hear what you want to be prominent in that specific video next we have video motion again video motion will be something like if you want the video to to, to animate so if we go here add an action click the effect button if we want something to pulse we can do that and now what you're going to see it's going to pulsate there basically it's just really cool animations that you may want to add to your video to add just that extra spiciness to your video to make it that much better the beauty of the video motions here uh, within ScreenFlow 7 is that you can actually adjust the timing and the different things within the motion to make it basically uh, I guess you would say specified to exactly the task you want it to complete the next one here is screen recording uh, again basically I'm not going to talk too much about the screen recording uh, you know tool here but basically if you want to add another screen recording on top of the one you're already doing you can do that here you can also show keys and keystrokes and mouse clicks and things like that all of that can be done here uh, next you're going to have callouts now I like callouts because if I add an action it allows me to basically call out a specific area of the screen so if I go here and I select say this word here that will allow me to basically when the video plays it will actually call out through via a highlight boom that one word like that as the video is playing and that's a very wonderful thing to do when you're doing screencast if you're trying to bring out prominent sections of that specific video next we have touch call out this again is if you're recording your iOS or Android devices uh, you can add a touch call out which wherever you touch it'll have a pulsating circle there where you touch again very very cool next we have annotations these are basically images or arrows pointing to different things if we add an action here we can add an arrow pointing at that there and then we can add thickness 
this to increase the thickness of the arrow we can add a shadow again another way to call out specific areas on the screen I love using annotations you know use them at your own discretion obviously next we have text again very simple here if we click add this will add specific text to our video within any editor you're going to see the ability to change the font of that text like you see here you're going to see the ability to not only change the font but the size like you can right here uh, you can even add an outline different things like that all from within the video editor so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and again to remove any element that you do here you just click and hold select that on the timeline click backspace or delete and that will be removed and the last one obviously is your media browser now again this is a brief synopsis a brief overview of beginners tutorial on how to get started with ScreenFlow. I have a ton more videos on ScreenFlow. Again, it may not be the most up-to-date version, but it will get you to the point to where you are very uh, proficient at using ScreenFlow to create screencast videos. I am very much uh, involved in the ScreenFlow community, so if you have any questions, put those in the comment section below. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it, thumbs up the video, share it with your friends and family, and guys, until next time, I will talk to you later.